Hey everybody, welcome back. Steve Basic here from the Build Show Network. We're up here in Maine out at the Proper Modern Home Project. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about above and beyond. As you know from the previous videos there, Christy and uh, Kurt are not only the general contracting team, but they're also the homeowners. And so when you're both, concerns get elevated and we make sure we do the best job and do it not only once, but we do it twice. Now, you probably see some of my videos where I show the double bead of sealant underneath the mud sill. I use the gravity of the house to seal all that up. Um, it's a favorite detail of mine. We did that here, but in addition, because um, Kurt and Christy and the Proper Modern Home Construction Company chose to use SEGA products, they've added this detail here, which is the SEGA Fentrum tape. And what you're doing here basically is we're connecting the air barrier that is the foundation wall. For those of you that want to argue about concrete being an air barrier, come over here, put your lips up against it, try and blow through it. You're not going to be able to, but that's all right. Anyways, the air barrier, that's the concrete wall. We want to connect it to our exterior weather resistant barrier and air barrier. And Sega just happens to make this very aggressive tape. It's called Fentrum. You can see here, it easily bites onto that concrete. Comes up here, we get a nice seal, that nice connection. It's probably some of the most aggressive tape that you would ever handle. Um, when I was talking to Kurt about the detail, he said, you know, if, if that touches itself, just throw it away. There's no unsticking it. There's no pulling it apart. Once it touches, it's trash. Toss it away. Anyways, let's go back to the studio. We'll break out some water table details. We'll take a look at air barrier continuity. Hey, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that little trip out to the uh, proper modern home. Passive house inspired, mo uh, nice contemporary design, single slope roofs, all that good stuff. This week, we're talking about tape and suspenders. Not belt and suspenders, tape and suspenders. Yeah, we're using Sega Fentrum tape out there. It's pretty aggressive stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to help us get a really good air tightness number. So anyways, got my good friend Big Red. Got the detail. Let's have at it. All right, everybody. We got Big Red here. And we broke out the detail. So let's take a look. Get a little orientation here. Here's the foundation wall. See it there, it's got a little step in it. So in that step, we have our insulation. We'll pick it up there and run it down. So we have all that rigid insulation in there. Thermally breaks it. And uh, we have our concrete pan here for our concrete slab. And we have the typical detail here where uh, you can see continuous bead of sealant over and under sill sealer, trim co acoustical sealant. So we put a bead of sealant and then we put the sill sealer in kind of a Z space and then put one under. So yeah, it's like this. Put the sill sealer like that. You put a seat bead there to bead there. This crushes against the concrete. This crushes against the mud sill. So these squish up nice to make an acoustical sealant uh, sandwich there. And we get really good air tightness in here so that there is no air leakage inside or outside. But in this project here, like we uh, were talking about out there, the clients and homeowners, they are looking for exceptional construction so we did a I'm calling it tape and suspenders instead of belt and suspenders so my detail here being the suspenders part and the Fentrum tape we have our plywood runs down and there is a bead of sealant where the plywood gets sealed to the framing member there so basically the suspenders part is the concrete foundation is our air barrier and it goes up it connects to the mud sill here 
And then the mud sill is also connected to the plywood. And so we basically have that continuous red line of air barrier there. Now, we also have the Sega My Vest that comes down the outside. That's our weather resistive barrier. You can see it there. As well as we then put that Fentrum tape and we taped it to the foundation wall here. So basically you're blocking off any pathway for air to migrate in this joint, make its way either under the uh, mud sill, we have that to help us out, the suspenders, as well as if anything tried to get in between the plywood and the mud sill, we have that continuous bead of Trumco acoustical sealant there. So that's our primary air barrier. And then you see the Sega Fentrum tape, again, put in that little kind of Z, vertical oriented Z shape there, where you saw in the video where we basically just taped our weather resistant barrier and plywood to the foundation wall. Now, I know in years gone by, I, I can honestly say I remember the days where there wasn't a tape available to tape to masonry and concrete structures and because um, they just weren't aggressive enough. So thank goodness for companies like SIGA and that's S-I-G-A. They're a Swiss uh, company that deals in um, sealants and tapes and uh, uh, membranes and barriers. So um, a great company in the uh, air barrier front. And uh, they created this tape. It's called Fentrum, V-E-N. I'll spell it out here for you. F-E-N-T-R-I-M. Fentrum. And the Fentrum tape is extremely aggressive. And it latches onto that concrete. And uh, you give it a little bit of time to do its thing. And you are not pulling it off. You will probably pull the assembly apart. Before you pull the tape and get it to release so anyways that is a tape and suspenders approach so basically primary and secondary air barrier at the mud sill area battling air tightness all right big red came through again looks like a winner got a lot of red ink on that paper and that detail so Anyways, a little more insight to air sealing, tape and suspenders approach. Uh, so you fence from tape. It's pretty aggressive tape. Anyways, if you're looking for more, Build Show Network, literally thousands of, of uh, videos on that website. Go watch them. Watch them seven times, science says. To fully comprehend, you gotta watch it seven times. Anyways, all my colleagues there putting up great stuff. Always a treat to watch their videos. If you're looking for more from me, you can find me on Instagram, Stephen Basic Architect. And lastly, I join my good friends Peter Yost and Jake Rubin. We are on the Unbuild It Podcast. It's all the audio channels and on YouTube. So go check it out, Unbuild It Podcast, where we talk everything building. But uh, as for now, have a wonderful holiday. Have a safe holiday. Happy 4th of July to you all. And uh, until next time, long live our buildings.